Now, the area's most accurate weather forecast with Storm Surge 7 meteorologist Shelly Seitz. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us this New Year's Eve and celebrating with us. I can get my party dress on. I may not be going out. That doesn't mean I can't dress up, right? Take a look at our current conditions outside. It is a bit chilly, so I might be a little cold if I headed out the door. So if you are headed out the door, grab a jacket. It's already 39 here in downtown Amarillo. 39 after seeing a high of 71 this afternoon. It may not have lasted long, but it was nice while it did last. Further down to the south side of the city, same story here. 72 was your high at Camp Don Harrington. Now down to 38 across the north and the west. It didn't get quite as warm here, but still above average. 60 was your high in Text Line. 65 was the high in Dalhart to 62 in Stratford. Current temperatures hovering right above or at the freezing mark. Across the north and the east in King Ranch, it's 40 degrees there with a high of 72. 76 was your high in Canadian. Current temperature 40. Further down to the south, must have been nice. The high temperature rose up to 80. Three degrees there in Childress. 82 was your high in Memphis. 81 at Sam Norwood, where they also saw a 64 mile per hour wind gust as the cold front blew through and knocked their temperatures down a good 20 degrees, just like that. Across the west and southwest in Vega, it's 36, 38 in Nazareth with a high of 71. Robert Clark Ranch also saw some very strong winds gusting up to 62 miles per hour again as that front rolled through the area earlier this afternoon. Winds there are still a little on the brisk side, but that just happens to be one of our windier sites across the high plains. So fortunately for us, the winds have begun to die down and will continue to do so throughout the night. The temperature, though, it will also keep falling. Current temperature there is 37. Let's move on and take a look at the year in review. These are just a couple of the highlights or lowlights. It is the driest year here in the Panhandle. That includes most of the Texas Panhandle and the Oklahoma Panhandle ever. We did see a record two inch diameter hailstone from a storm earlier this year that breaks a record and it was the second snowiest Christmas we've ever had here in Amarillo. So that was kind of interesting. Also an interesting high note, 111 degrees. It's the hottest it's ever been here in Amarillo this year. And then our lowest low, maybe not so much of a record, but it got down to negative six degrees twice this year, February 9th and February 10th. But I tell you what, Despite the negative six, 111 is still a scorcher, and we all turned on our air conditioners for that. So, like I said, it's been a very interesting year, and it looks like it's going to be another interesting year, starting out with the La Nina weather pattern, which means unseasonably warm, like we saw today, and unseasonably dry, like we've seen for the past several days and much of the year. The state of Texas currently clear to mostly clear, a few high clouds here and there. In general, it's getting colder, 36 here in Amarillo, 27 in Denver to 36 in Denver, uh, Dodge City rather. That cooler air is slowly seeping down into the Texas Panhandle and it will continue to do so throughout the night. That front hasn't quite made it through the state though, so folks who are celebrating in Dallas, <coughs> Meredith Keller, having a good time in some slightly warmer weather. Computer model forecast showing that front sinking down to the south tonight. 25 is what we'll wake up to, so sub-freezing, but that's not going to stay that way for very long. Above freezing already by midday with a high around 46, which is a few degrees below what's normal for this time of year. Doesn't happen very often, it doesn't feel like. Across the area tonight, expect mid-20s with clear skies and lighter winds. 23s are expected low in Clayton to 30 in Childress tonight. Here in Amarillo, we're looking at the mid-20s to around 27 in Canyon. Northwest winds on average 10 to 20 miles per hour, but they will continue to die down to the 5 to 15 mile per hour range by early in the morning and stay that way throughout the day tomorrow. So don't expect the strong winds, but do expect it to be a cooler day as high temperatures only rise up into the 40s, not the 70s. <laughs> the 40s with plenty of sunshine. And your seven day forecast, temperatures are going to continue to rise, getting up in the unseasonably warm levels again. The average high temperature for around right now is 49, so getting up to 59, well, you're already a good 10 degrees above, and it looks like we'll continue to see temperatures rise to around Thursday, Friday and Saturday a little cooler, but whew, it's been quite a year. I'm worn out. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, I need a break. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we all oh, do. <laughs> yeah. And keep praying for rain. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you, Shelly. Well, coming up, we have um, some big news to tell you guys about. Um, one of our Pro News 7 family members is starting the new year off with some exciting news. So Ooh. we're going to share that with you guys. Plus, New Year's Eve celebrations are already happening around the world, and we'll take a trip around the globe to see how everyone else is ringing in the year. Stay with us. Oh. 